Up and up into the sky. We're going to get some beautiful views of Barcelona. Yeah. Yeah, look at where we're going. Look behind you. See how high we're going to go. Way up, th way up there on the side of the mountain. Wow. Look at that city. Hey, I see the Church of, Church of Scientology. Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia. See, they're advertising this worship. <laughs> and then there's Tibidabo. Tibidabo. Where's Tibidabo? Behind you. Oh, way over there. Yeah. I see a statue down there. Yep. No statue down there. Then we can take the stairs. I, I bought a wild trip. Yeah. <laughs> Although that place now looks fun. This one's made of wood. Oh, we're going to take that. Go, oh, I'm sure we'll that. walk around and then we're going to want to find food. That's a sta yes. That's another station. Mm -hmm. And some boxes. In Europe, children play in boxes. Yeah. Look! Has a color. A construction. <laughs> We're gonna take that station over there. Dimmit, no, what's we're gonna this? Go and keep going up A mountain. So someone in our cruise group just landed and their luggage is back at their home airport. Oh, at least they have a few days. Yeah. It's possible. Look! And there's the cruise port. Look. A cruise what's port? this? Yeah. And when we get to the top, we'll do the where the cruise ships come in. Oh, Demon, what is it? There's seagull. seagull. Demon, what is oh, it? Oh, it is a seagull. That's seagull. Where it's been around. <laughs> yep, it's called a turnaround station. Turnaround mm -hmm. station. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I see a lot of yachts. Davy, do you want a fruit snack? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it doesn't like heights. No, Daddy Pig does not like it. Daddy Damon loves heights. Mommy Sharon does not. Wow. Well, here we go. We got our. Sharon, we're up high in the sky. Yes, we are. But you I do. See the view. It's funny. I'm not panicking looking backwards. Oh, okay. So you don't know where you're going. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're about to get off at the, the Teleferic de Montjuic. Silly Catalonians. Talking all Catalonian. This is it. <laughs> Watch out for the pole.
Pero ¿quién lo va a hacer? Ah, hay, 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 hay que proponerlo, ¿no? Es mucho más bonito. No. Escúchame, hace, sí, eso pero, pero hacemos una cosa, lo proponemos. Yo no veo al Miguel leyendo. Escúchame, lo Uh, Davey wants to go up. Davey, can I lift you up? You want to leave your iPad on the
We're going to the playground. I wonder if this had something to do with the Olympics. Alex, watch out.
cute. Where is Colby? He's buried. Disappear! Disappear! <laughs> Alex, you'll dry off. So we're at the end of day three. My voice is almost completely gone. I didn't talk about anything this morning because it's just been a crazy world went so um we desperately tried to go to bed early last night and it kind of worked until damon went to come and get the kids and put the, uh, them in a bed and that woke me right up i was like oh wait because for me it was 6 p.m in florida and it was midnight here and at the exact same time elliot was boink awake so we didn't uh actually go to sleep until like 3 30 ish in the morning and i finally was ready to crash and so i basically just fell asleep and ellie kind of crashed next to me but then i forced myself to get up at like nine ish in the morning here in barcelona and i got damon up and we started slowly getting the kids up so we got out at noon but on top of all that so on top of the wonky sleep i feel like absolute garbage why smoking i'm actually allergic to cigarette smoke and i do my absolute best to avoid it when i can i have breathing exercises that i do and i hold my breath but barcelona is an entirely different creature i was expecting smoking i expected it it's europe i know that i was not expecting it in this abundance to literally turn every corner and see dozens of people all lighting up all smoking all the outdoor restaurants everybody smoking so that's a that's a culture shock for me and it, it definitely affected my lungs so throughout last night my lungs just felt heavy i felt like i was kind of breathing through pudding that's how heavy my lungs felt and then all day today basically that pudding kind of turns into mucus and I've tried to cough it up so I've been coughing like crazy all day and so my, my voice just sounds absolutely lovely too so I feel like garbage right but I don't want to to affect my my kids you know this is our first opportunity being overseas and we're in Barcelona for the first time and so I kind of just powered through and I was like okay I can go out uh we had decided to do the hop on hop off bus um which was uh, a great way to get around Barcelona. There's one really close to our house. Um, it took us up to Montjuic and we got to see the castle up there. We got to see some of the sites from the 1929 World's Fair. Um, had a great little, found a little like shack that was near a playground down there. And they had the most amazing hummus. Like it was, it was phenomenal. I'm like, this is amazing. I'm not having to eat, you know, terrible stuff all the time, like fast food. I can actually have some, some really decent food here. Um, and then we ended up taking the, the cable car back down to the bottom of that, hopped back on the bus, and made our way over to the Barceloneta. And mind you, at this entire time, the only thing that I've eaten is that hummus. <laughs> it's like 5 o'clock Barcelona time. I've been up since 9 a.m. The only thing I've eaten is hummus. I feel like garbage. My head is pounding. But my kids are having the best time. They're playing on the beach. I actually got to put my feet into the Mediterranean Sea. It was freezing. But I did it. I put my feet into the sea. That was really, really cool. And the Barceloneta is actually right next to a lot of the sites from the 1992 Barcelona Olympics, which is, that was really neat to see, to see a lot of the stuff. A lot of the kids' playgrounds that we stumbled upon also were in that area. We got to see the Olympic torch. Um, so that was a fun piece of history to get to see. So we eventually made our way over to a little buffet restaurant that reminded me so much of sweet tomatoes. And it was fantastic because I'm like, yeah, we're in Spain and we should be doing the tapas thing, but we have four kids. It's like somewhat you have to face reality just a little bit and actually just eat something that we're all going to eat. So this buffet had chicken and french fries for the kids, the ice cream, and for the me and Damon, we could have some healthier stuff like salad and chicken and stuff like that. So that was really nice. Afterwards, we took the kids to the playground and then we were trying to find a grocery store. I'm desperately trying to find swim diapers sunscreen and some fruit snacks because we leave in about two days 
on a two week transatlantic vacation. And basically if we don't have it when we go on board, I'm not going to have it for two weeks. So I'm really, really, really trying to find a place that's going to have these things. And so far I am striking out. I thought it would be a little bit easier to find some of these staples and it's really been difficult to be honest. So we made our way to a supermarket, got myself some tea. I found this amazing strawberry vanilla tea, which has been it's just so good on my throat. The kids got some snacks. And then Damon's whole trip was made because we got to go to the train station, go in there. I had a very interesting experience in there in the bathroom. Uh, there's no toilet paper in any of the stalls. None. It was hanging on the wall outside of the stalls. So you had to get your toilet paper before you went into the stall. I'm like I, I was not expecting that. And I had like gone to a couple of public bathrooms here in Barcelona. I haven't experienced that yet. So that was, that was unique. And I just, it got me thinking like, what if you need more? You know, there's just times when you need a little more toilet paper. What if you didn't get enough? Like, like I, I don't know if I like, I get, you know, get on board with this, this thing. But we managed to get onto the train. It was a quick high speed train um, to, Right where we, uh, our little neighborhood here at Nixjampo, which was really nice, got out. I see if it turned around, but we eventually did make it back to our house. And I dove straight into a bath because I am just so sore all over my body. I feel just run down. So I had a cup of tea. Uh, they do have a huge bathtub here. Thank goodness. It's one of the advantages of getting a house instead of getting a hotel room. And so I just sat in that, and now I'm hanging out with the boys watching some cartoons while we wait for Damon to bring back some food. So our goal tonight is to try and get the boys to go to bed early. We're hoping for 10, 11 o'clock, and that way we can get up early tomorrow, and we're going to try to make our way over to the Barceloneta again because the boys had a fun time over there. So this time we're going to try actually bring their swimsuits with them, and then... Uh, try to hop on the subway and get over to the Gothic Quarter. That way we can kind of see some of the outdoor places there and see some of the history around there. And hopefully, fingers crossed, find an actual far we, we, uh, find a pharmacy that will have the diapers and wipes and everything that we'll need. And then to find a supermarket that has fruit snacks. And yes, I have tried to Google it, and all I get are the... The, the bakeries, which are like the open air markets. And they're like, oh, you can get these little cups with fruit snacks in it. And I'm like, that, that, that's like fruit to snack on. It's not a fruit snack. And if you're a mom, you understand. Sometimes you really, 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 really need those fruit snacks. So I'm hoping we find that tomorrow. Because tomorrow's kind of our last open day here in Barcelona. Saturday, we're going to Tibi Dabo, which is a mountain at the back of Barcelona. And it's got a over 100 year old theme park up at the top. So I'm very excited to take the boys up there. We're basically spending the whole day up there. And then it's Sunday and we're, it's cruising day. So yeah, that's our day in a nutshell. We'll see what tomorrow brings.